A 70-year-old male presents with abdominal pain. What does the x-ray show? Let's go through the case. Have a look at the second film showing the pelvis. We can see there is a single massively dilated bowel loop. When you see this, you need to consider volvulus. In intestinal volvulus, there is torsion of bowel around its mesentery. This is more likely to happen in places where the bowel is not fixed. And within the colon, this happens most frequently within the cecum and within the sigmoid colon. It can be tricky to tell the difference between sigmoid and cecal volvulus on x-ray. Let's have a look on how they differ. Cecal volvulus tends to affect patients between the age of 30 to 60, while sigmoid volvulus more often affects the elderly. Now normally within the colon you should see indentations known as haustry. In cecal volvulus these haustry are usually maintained, whilst in sigmoid volvulus they are lost. We may also see a different pattern of gas separate to the dilated bowel loop. In cecal volvulus the left sided colon will be collapsed, and you may see small bowel dilatation if the ileocecal valve is patent. In sigmoid volvulus, crucially, you may well see gas within a normal or slightly dilated cecum, whilst the remainder of the large bowel proximal to the volvulus may also be dilated. Going back to our case, we can see a single dilated bowel loop that has the appearance of a coffee bean. This appearance can be seen in sigmoid volvulus, but it isn't completely specific. Within this bowel loop, we can see we've lost the normal haustral pattern, again pointing towards sigmoid volvulus. Now if we look at the second x-ray, importantly we can see gas within the ascending colon and cecum. This tells us we are most likely looking at sigmoid volvulus. Let's have a look at a coronal view of the CT scan. Here in the pelvis we have the rectum, lateral to this we can see some free fluid within the pelvis. If we follow this up into the sigmoid colon we can see a whirling appearance, but we're seeing a dilated bowel loop proximal to this. This is classic for sigmoid volvulus, which is usually initially treated with endoscopic decompression. It's important to look for signs of ischemia, so look for gas or a lack of contrast enhancement within the bowel wall, and also check for perforation. Have a look on lung windows for free gas outside the bowel. Here there are no signs of ischemia or perforation. Now CT is becoming first line for acute abdominal pain in many places in the world, however you still may be faced with a similar x-ray, so it's important to know the features of sigmoid volvulus.